Hey guys, welcome to 5H Exotics. I'm Caitlin, and that was Taylor, my oldest daughter. And this is our first video that we have made with our business, 5H Exotics. And we just wanted to show y'all our snakes. And um, tonight's also feeding night. So we are going to let y'all see how we do that as well. Now we are um, going to feed this little fuzzy right here um, to our um, scaleless Everglades rat snake. Um, we're going to feed, his name is Bucky by the way, um, and he is in this tub right here. We're going to feed him a fuzzy. I like to encourage them sometimes. There you go. Got it right on the head. Did you take it? Yep, you did. So we we just were in the Brett Recon today in Raleigh and Sea, where we live in Oak Grove and Sea. So we drove about two hours away to we got two more snakes. Um so the first one we got is named Queenie and it's my mom's snake she bought that she wants to breed to get something, which you'll see in just a second. So this back here is Queenie. If you are a Harry Potter or Fantastic Beast fan, um, Queenie is the name of somebody in Fantastic Beast. Um, she, if you, I'll give you three seconds to guess what do you think she is. Okay, she is a, um, uh, scaleless head pastel. Pastel. Um, she is my mom's because she is wanting to someday get. She's just a female, um, and um, she someday wants to get a male scaleless head and get and breed them and then get just a full scaleless. Okay. Um, next up is one of my snakes that I got. Um, also, my parents helped me out with it. Um, it was um, a little bit over the price range I had, so um, they helped me out with it. Um, but um, here he is. Um, if you've ever watched the um, old movie called Old Yeller, um, that's his name. He's a um, banana paradox. 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 Um, he, um, um, as you can see, you, you see that he has his black dots. That's part of what a paradox is. Um, and his name is on yellow. <laughs> yep. That's the black on him. There's um, the black like right here. All around him up here usually. But he's very pretty. I really liked him. Uh, it's not normal. Huh? But, yeah, it's not normal. The paradox. Yeah. It's not very normal and um special. It's, yeah special um and also if we ever breed this kind of snake the black dots will not pass on in genetics or anything it's just he's very special um and he actually wasn't very much either <laughs> i got a good deal didn't i yes we did <laughs> but he is my precious <laughs> Okay, so we're going to show you the different size of rats we have. So first, this one is, well, these two are for our um, normal um, het clown female ball python. Um, she's a big girl, so we sometimes, if she wants to, then we feed her too. Um, this one is um, our first ever snake. It's a lesser orange dream. Um, he is a male. Um, uh, this one right here is Levonomorts. Um, he's uh, a pied, uh, a pied spider. Um, he's um, kind of picky. He had not eight, and since like like three weeks or so. Um, this one is Storms. Um, she is a um, snow corn snake. 
Um, this one is our um, corn snake, is a o Oka tea corn snake. Um, her name is Jean, and um, this is hers. This is our wild caught um, black rat snake. Um, her name is Bellatrix, and this one is our um, Miami, Miami Tessera corn snake male. Um, uh, his name is Vision. So, that is all the sizes of rats we have tonight. Um, so we just formed up the head of this rat for our, um, corn snake, our snow corn snake, um, which her name is Storm, but, um, we are going to feed her, um, but also she's probably going to eat because she's, she always eats, um, uh, either frozen thawed or pre killed. So, let's see what she, let's see if she'll eat. Actually, she might be burrowed. Oh, there she is right there. You can see her <laughs> little face. She loves burrowing. See, she got it. She loves eating. <laughs> All right, but there she is. I'll just slide her back in there. Yep. So this time my dad is gonna feed our Miami Tessera vision. Oh, <laughs> Daddy, it's not, we're on video. I think he's going in the shed, don't y'all? Yeah. He feels the heat coming. Come on out here so we can see you. Come on out here so we can see you. Come on out here. Come on out. <laughs> he comes. We want to see you. Come on. Come on out here. He's slowly coming. Oh, he hissed at it too. Big corn snake. Yeah, so we're gonna feed um a a big corn snake of ours named Jean. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start feeding her. Oh, she's right up here. She does that when she's very hungry. Come on, girl. He's a good eater. Got it. She got it right on the head. It's way down there. But she's a very good eater. So next we're gonna feed our wild caught black rat snake. She's a very good eater. Get it out a little bit more. This is her first time eating one. Persian thawed. Yeah. She don't see us moving, so she won't know how to eat it. She's a very good eater, but we didn't know if she's gonna eat frozen thawed yet. Frozen thawed? No. She's she's a good girl. She sometimes it, when she's kind of confused because she sometimes takes a little bit. Also, this guy might not eat because he's looking a little bit dull. He might be in shed.
he is also used to eating a live rat. Yeah. So this is something a little different for him. He used to eat frozen thawed. Well, then he kind of got a little bit sleepy. He's going to eat live three times. He's in shade. He's going to eat right now. He's living in there for a little bit. Okay, so we're going to feed our normal hook clam ball python. Okay. She wanted to take a second, second mm -hmm. look at it, didn't she? She did. She, she is also, this is also the first time she's ever ate Persian thawed, so we're very surprised. She's only ate live her entire life. So she, she's a monster though. She'll eat anything. She's ate two rats, single day.